Hello everyone, this is Tim, <laughs> and, and it's very early. Um, <laughs> you can still see, if you can tell here, the lines on my face from my uh, sleep apnea machine. Uh, and also because when I uh, gain weight, I tend to gain weight in my face. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I got kind of like this large melon of a head. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm hanging out with my son. I don't know if you can see him down there. Say hi, Wes. Yeah. Uh, Woke up pretty early this morning, so I've been uh, on baby duty. But uh, for this video, I want to talk about the uh, descriptor modern. Uh, I did a, a recent video. This will be a video response to uh, discussing a modern setting and how I wanted to try to mess with that, uh, do things differently. Um, the idea is that when you think of modern technology, Instead of thinking of it as a grouped collection of artifacts or um, just various technological gizmos, various um, inventions. Um, so instead of thinking of, okay, modern equals cell phones, laptops, internet, uh, combustion engine, uh, jets, airplanes, uh, drone combat, you know, all, all those different various uh, technological things um, as one group that can't be changed. I want to uh, think about modern as an individual series of inventions. And what's nice about thinking about it that way is that you can change things. I mean, you can change anything in a setting. But uh, generally when it's a modern setting, it's that default, it's the same as everyday life and not different. So what I was thinking about the other day was you could have a modern setting that you change the artifacts and technology available uh, invention by invention. So if you start thinking about it, it's like, well, what would a modern setting be? without uh, the telephone, any sort of telephone whatsoever. Their telephones were never exist, you know, never, they never existed. How would that change the setting? Uh, you can think about combustion engines. Maybe they were never invented. So what would a modern setting look like? Again, modern in quotes, that uh, you know, we, we rode horses, uh, we walked. Um, Empire of the Petal Throne does that to some, some degree where they, uh, they walk everywhere. And uh, they don't really use uh, Horses and that sort of thing. So it's different. Think about a modern setting without black powder, without rifles, guns, ammunition. How would that change things? Think about flight. Maybe, you know, the Wright brothers never invented flight, but as I talked about in my other video, your modern setting doesn't have to be Earth. It could be another planet that has a modern level of technology. So there's all kinds of different inventions that you can cut short. Uh, maybe they never happened. Maybe you can modify them. Maybe uh, the first people that invented flight uh, went straight to you know uh, the turbine engine or something. Maybe they just you know they they skipped the whole propeller thing. Uh, you know maybe the jet was the first uh, means of propulsion, or maybe they can just bypass all of that and uh, they just had various other technological ways of propelling things uh, you know steam powered is a, 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 I know people have done that with a few settings like the uh, the Iron Kingdoms I believe is a steam steampunk I think is the term but I could be wrong um, so uh, what I wanted to say in this uh, short video is that if you are developing a unique modern setting don't be afraid to neglect negate uh, delete certain technological gizmos to make your setting different. And the only issue would be is that you would have to describe and tell your players why that is or just let them know that that's the case because they might expect to have a cell phone and you might say, well, you know, this is a uh, you know, 1970-ish modern. So. And is modern even, uh, like, can you go back to the 70s and still call it, call it modern? I think so. I don't know when the... Uh, like the the cutoff point is for that but so yeah this is a tired Tim saying uh, uh, stuff about <laughs> technology so uh, in your games yeah so uh, have a good one guys and I'll talk to you soon